and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel here today guys for some more Barca transfer news and we have a lot on the agenda today because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through a whole range of transfer rumours and we're going to be trying to make sense of them. Are they reliable? Are they likely to happen? Would we be happy to see it happen? And we have so many different players discussed in today's video from the likes of Ferran Torres to Yannick Carrasco, Vitor Roque, Neymar, among plenty of others too, and it's all coming up for you today. So sit back, relax and enjoy, and let's first of all kick off with a big update from the Talk FCB Fantasy League. Because I have teamed up with So Rare to create Liga Talk FCB, which in my opinion takes fantasy football to the very next level. Because in our Fantasy League, you select your squad for each game week there in La Liga and your players earn points for every positive action, whether it's a pass, a shot, a tackle, an interception, everything matters and every minute counts. Now this right here was my team in midweek. I went with two Barca players because I was counting on us getting a clear sheet and they delivered good performances there for Ter Stegen and Kunde but I was expecting a little bit more from my team I've got to say no real standout performers and nothing to really send me flying up the leaderboards because as you can see I am currently 55th in the Talk FCB League and I want to show you the man standing at the top Jaguar FC this was his team in midweek and it was a quality one he also had Ter Stegen but he had Franky de Jong what a brilliant performance he put in and Griezmann as his captain. Griezmann recently has been on fire and that team right now is top of the Talk FCB League and I want to see as many of you guys as possible in this league because if we can get more and more members we might be able to get some prizes going for next season and with no La Liga matches this weekend you've got plenty of time now to research your team and get involved. So just follow the link there in the description down below that will take you over to Liga Talk FCB. You can get involved absolutely free to enter and I'm really excited to see all of you guys there. Now one of the players who is indeed available if you want to add him to your fantasy team, that is indeed Juan Foyt. We know he's been a very consistent and solid performer at Villarreal and as a result Xavi is a big fan of him. Now of course last summer we went for Foyt in the transfer window but we were not able to match Villarreal's really high demands for him in terms of his price and we wondered will we return in the summer? Will Xavi still demand Foyt to come in to Barcelona? And according to Javi Miguel this morning, it's very possible we will. Because he says there that Barca are right now considering offering 30 million euros for Foyt plus Nico Gonzalez in exchange for the Argentine right back. They believe there, Barca, that would be enough for Villarreal to do business with us. And if that were true... What would you make of that deal there? 30 million plus Nico for Juan Foyt. Because on the face of it, guys, I would say there that is certainly better than going and paying his release clause right now because last summer his release clause was actually 42 million euros. But now that's increased to 54.6, which I think we all agree, don't go anywhere near that. Do not pay that for Juan Foyt. That's huge. But even 30 million it's still a sizable sum for me. That's still a big, big amount of cash there being thrown at Juan Foyt and a player as well, putting Nico Gonzalez in the deal. Now, I know that he's had a rough time this season at Valencia. They've been absolutely terrible in La Liga. He's had so many different coaches. He's had injury problems. It's been a loan deal that really hasn't worked out at all. And a Barca now looking at moving him on. Could he be included in a deal like this? But like I say, guys, and I've said it many, many times before, I'm not going to bore you with it again. But Arne Martinez is right there. He is somebody who would be a significantly cheaper option and for me just as effective coming into this Barcelona team. But like we've said before, it all depends Barca going for Arne on whether Xavi gives the green light. Another player though that I do want to discuss is indeed Ferran Torres because the Telegraph in the UK are reporting that Aston Villa are willing to offer 60 million euros 
to sign Ferran this summer, with Unai Emery said to be a big, big fan there of the Spaniard. And honestly, at least right now for me, guys, this is the typical rumour to go along with the Mattia Almani switch. Because I think here, the press in the UK have looked at Almani coming into England and they thought, oh, who's he going to bring with him? What player shall we say he's going to sign and just put a random amount with that? 60 million? That's good. And let's run with it. I honestly wouldn't read too much at all into that particular report right now because especially what we're hearing right now from the Catalan media is that Ferran has no intention of leaving. He does not want to leave Barca this summer. He has a contract right now until 2027 and he wants to succeed here. But my question to you guys is... Do you believe that he can? He's been at the club right now for nearly one and a half seasons. And honestly, it feels like a lot longer than that. That's one thing I would say. This season, of course, he hasn't received a huge amount of football. And for me, he's definitely better on the right. For me, that's the only place I would use him. Do not play him down the middle. Don't play him on the left. If you're going to play him, it has to be on the right-hand side. But do you believe there's more to come from Ferran? Or is this it? Is this all that we're going to see? And so should we try to push him towards the exit door this summer? That is the big question. And then there is the topic of Yannick Carrasco. Because once again, Javi Miguel there talking about the transfer situation. He says that Mattia Almani in his final summer at the club, he's still going to be in charge for the summer transfer window. He has promised Xavi he will sign Carrasco this summer for 10 million euros. Now that for me would certainly be a better deal than the Ferran Carrasco swap that was rumoured of course recently. That is something that we shouldn't be doing at all. But I think 10 million, that would probably be my maximum. I would not go any higher than that at all for Carrasco, 29 years old. And for me though, it's not necessarily even about the money when it comes to Carrasco and whether or not that would be a good deal. But it's more about... What does that mean for Abde's future? Because I look at him now coming back. He should be coming back into the first team. He should be on that left-hand side trying to prove himself to Chaffee. And I just think it would be a big mistake here if we were to bring in Carrasco and actually then sacrifice Abde. If Carrasco coming in means we get rid of Abde and don't give him his chance, don't give him his opportunity, I think that would be short-sighted, honestly. Abde is a young player, only 21 years old. Carrasco, like I say, he's nearly in his 30s now. And I think it would be a mistake this summer if we don't at least give Abde an opportunity to show that quality, to show that talent. He's still improving, of course, but I am interested to see what he could do in a Barca team. Up next, though, we have a George Mendes deal. Because according to Matteo Moretto, George Mendes there has presented an offer to Barca, officially there, from Wolves, who he works very, very closely with as well, concerning two of his clients. The offer from George Mendes and Wolves is 30 million euros plus Ruben Neves for Ansu Fati. No, it is a no from me. 30 million there for Ansu, plus Ruben Neves. Because although Neves seems to be linked with us in every single transfer window, Mendes is always bringing him to Laporta saying, look, do you want Neves? How much are you going to pay? Could you please get him out of Wolves? But I think Chaffee, you know, we've heard it multiple times over these past few months and the seasons, to be honest, he is not convinced about Neves as a profile in his midfield. He is not sure that he could work at Barca. But Mendes apparently, with this offer here that he's brought to the table, he is desperately trying to convince Laporta to think about it, to take it back to the club there, to it over and decide on what to do and this is when I would come on to talk about George Mendes himself because look I understand that it's good it's productive there to have a good close relationship with a super agent like Mendes he's got a lot of power in football and it does have its advantages there to have a good relationship with him but and this is the key We've got to be careful here, I feel, because what we cannot allow ourselves to do as a club is become influenced by him. I've seen it before at Valencia with him. I've seen it there at Wolves when he's become too involved in the transfer side of things at a club. He is not part of this club. He does not know this club. He's got his clients. He's got his views. But his opinion doesn't count for anything here when it comes to whether a player could actually fit at Barca. So I think here that conversations can happen. Laporta can meet with him a lot. You know, he represents several of our players. I understand understand that but let's draw a line here let's make sure that we continue with our own decisions with our own feelings and views on who we feel will be the best fit at Barca and we don't allow others from the outside 
to have too much influence. Now though, let's talk about Vitor Roque, because it has been quite quiet on this man of late between Roque and Barca, which has led to some pessimism that this deal may not actually happen this summer. We know that Barca are not able, not willing to offer as much as some of the other clubs, the Premier League clubs, interested in Vitor Roque. But again, like we've seen so many times before, they're looking to use the desire of the player. The fact that Vitor Roque ideally wants to join Barca, they're looking to use that to their advantage, but that does take time. But according to plenty of the Catalan media this morning, Barca have now convinced Vitor Roque to wait, to give them that time. He has given them their approval that he will wait and that he will be patient while Barca try to negotiate, try to bring that cost down as much as we possibly can in order to hopefully get this deal done. And we are still very much in this race. We might not have heard a great deal as of right now, but also just this morning, Vitor Roque's agent and Andre Curry used to be Barca's head scout in Brazil. He actually said, because of my relationship with Barca, because he used to work with us, he said, I always tell Vito Roque that everything is spectacular at that club and that I recommend for him to go there. He said, Vitor is a great player and if Barca signs him, they have 100% made a hit. So only time will tell on Vitor Roque, but just because we're not hearing a great deal of news right now, it doesn't mean the deal is off. Barca are still working hard. Vitor Roque has given them time, but can we find a way to get this deal done? However... We move now from one Brazilian to another. Two players there at very different stages of their careers because now let's talk about Neymar. Now, we spoke about him yesterday. The scenes outside of his house there from the PSG fans, that really upset Neymar. He was on Instagram, like I say, liking a lot of posts against their club, liking a lot of posts for Barca, and that got a lot of emotions going now over these past 24 hours. And as a result of all that too, PSG want him gone this summer. They do not want Neymar to continue at their club. It was the same case last summer. They desperately want to try and find a suitor for him. And such is their desperation apparently right now is that they would even be willing this summer to accept a loan deal. And not even with an obligation to buy, but with an option to buy. They would be happy to loan Neymar out with no obligation in order to get him out of the club. Now, a lot of people off the back of that have been wondering... Could Barca take a look at him? Could Barca make a move, an unbelievable move that it would be for Neymar this summer? I think mainly it comes from a nostalgic point of view, you know, bringing back Messi and Neymar together in the same summer to this club. It would be unbelievable, but... I just don't see that as a reality right now. In all honesty, guys, I think Barca are having a hard enough time just getting Messi back. Let's be real here. That's not over the line. That's not a done deal. We are still working tirelessly to make that happen. And that's even with Messi drastically reducing his salary. You know, would Neymar hypothetically do the same to come back? And I think the feeling is from the club is there's no way they could do the two together. There's no way under La Liga's strict FFP rules that we could get Messi and Neymar back at the same time in the same summer. And I also got to say on this as well, I don't believe, even if they're desperate PSG, I don't think they'd loan Neymar to us. I really, really don't. After they've signed him, don't forget, for 222 million euros and then just loan him back to the same club, we've embarrassed them enough in recent times. We've done enough damage to PSG's ego. I do not see them doing that whatsoever. So on these Neymar rumours, I understand them. I think at times they're inevitable when it comes to Neymar and Barca, but I just don't see this one yet again. Another transfer window, another summer but I don't see it happening. So those there, guys, were some of the latest Barca rumours that we hear swirling around the club right now. What I want to know is, out of those rumours that we have discussed today, which ones would you be happy with happening? You know, what would you like to see happen in terms of what is being speculated right now? And what deals do you imagine that the club are going to be able to do this summer? Please do let me know all of your thoughts down below. And like I say, I want to see plenty of you guys over in the Talk FCB Fantasy League. It could be something really exciting that we have here on the channel altogether. A bit of competition spicing things up. I will see you guys soon, of course, with plenty coming across the two channels. There's so much going on right now, and I'm really enjoying all the energy from you guys. I will see you soon with more, but until next time, as always, Vishka, El Barca.